Hey there, John. Well, McDonald's, as you mentioned, settling with former president and CEO Steve Easterbrook. Easterbrook returning equity awards and cash currently valued at more than $105 million, which the company says he would have forfeited had he been truthful at the time he was fired in November of 2019. Now, as a result, he would have been fired for cause instead of without cause. Easterbrook was accused of having consensual affairs with four subordinates and for deleting evidence of those affairs from his company phone. He'd push courts to throw the case out because he said the evidence was easily found on company servers. In a statement, Easterbrook said, quote, during my tenure as CEO, I failed at times to uphold McDonald's values and fulfill certain of my responsibilities as a leader of the company. I apologize to my former co-workers, the board and the company's franchisees and suppliers for doing so. Now, recently, Goldman Sachs tried to claw back $174 million in executive bonuses that were tied to the 1MDB scandal. Senior execs like Lloyd Blankfein and David Solomon returned their share, but for Former top exec Gary Cohn refused to return the money, instead donating it to charity. Just one example, John, of how difficult some of these clawbacks can be. And this one, really a landmark for McDonald's and Easterbrook. Yeah, and Kate, McDonald's announced another settlement today. What, what can you tell us about that one? That's right. McDonald's just in the last two hours announcing a settlement with Herb Washington, who had filed a lawsuit alleging racial discrimination back in February. Washington was the company's largest black franchisee. At one point, he's agreed to leave the system. McDonald's has purchased his 13 locations for $33.5 million. It said the court did not find the company had violated any laws, John. All right. Uh, Kate Rogers, um, is it unusual to get a couple of settlements like that uh, at once? It, it seems like it might be. It is certainly, and this is these are just two that we mentioned. There was another one last week uh, with Daryl and James Bird out of Tennessee, also two black franchisees accusing the company of racial discrimination. They also settled with McDonald's last week, agreed to leave the system. The company purchased their four locations as well. So highly unusual to get three big settlements like this in just one week, for sure.